everything starts in the spiritual. But I hope y'all know the Lord got the power to do what he want to do. Uh, the situation you're in, sometimes it's your habits. As we just talked about habits, having good habits or bad habits can get you in your situation. But the Lord will make that situation make you whole and make you build a faith if you're doing the right thing and going the right way. See, the Lord make a poor, make a rich, you bring a low. It ain't nobody escaping this. Just like, like I say all the time, he ain't just talking to the, to, to the people that follow him. He's talking to the non-followers too. Everybody. The rich, the poor. But he can raise you up out of that, the, the, the poor, straight up out the dust, and set you next to the princess. He didn't say the person that he raised out the dust was sitting out doing nothing. When they in this dust, I bet you they was praying. They had faith and it was working towards something. Because like they say, you got to be doing something. But works is good, but faith without works is dead. You know, so while you got that faith, you got to be doing something too. And he'll pull you right, left the beggar from the Dunhill. You know what a Dunhill is? That is a pile of shit. Yes. Some of y'all just got a, a pile of a POS life, got a POS spouse, got a POS house. You think he can't pull you up off that done hill and put you next to princesses? Princesses and, and kings and inherit the throne of glory. Uh He says here, he will keep the feet of his saints. Saints. These are people who, you know, follow the word, read after the word saints. Uh, because we as ministers, we prepare saints by following the word and giving the word to people. You make saints. And saints are people who heed to the word, listen to the word, or after the word. And wicked shall be silenced to darkness. Darkness. As Dave Chappelle say. Darkness. But, he says for him, by the strength shall no man prevail. What? From by strength shall no man prevail? Wait, you mean the strength, the strong shall survive, right? No, he didn't say the strong shall survive. He said, for by strength shall no man prevail. What he is telling you is, out of all these people, the poor, the, the rich, he made you. Ain't nothing you did. It ain't, not, it ain't on your works. It ain't on your strength. You ain't do it on your own muscle. Your shoulder didn't do it on your own head, as they say. You don't. You did it off his strength. It was him inside of you you pulled from. You might not recognize it. One day you better. Because eventually he, he, he can knock you off that. Just like he pulled him off from a dunhill. He can knock you off that throne and put you on a dunhill. Huh? Because it is his strength you are pulling from. Him. Come on now. Y'all might not like that. Let's get to the next one. What we got you? What we got? Come on now. We're getting good already. I like this one. Let's go to Psalms. Give me Psalm 27. Give me Psalms 27. I like it when I, when I jump right in. I just wrote this one a few minutes ago. And I, you know, because of my little accident and rest, I hadn't been ahead on my sermons like I'm normally ahead on them. So I've been, you know, spitting them out as they come. And I ain't mad at him. I, I'm, I'm a freestyle type artist. I can go right off the cusp. Just give me the word. Watch me interpret it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap into that ram of word. Amen. And we're going to talk about this thing. Come on. Give me Psalms 27 and 14. Give me 27. And slide down to 14 with me, y'all. If you're with me there, say amen. He says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I don't know why people don't. <clears throat> There's so many times that the Lord, Lord, I mean, in the Bible, the Lord tells us to wait. But when he says, he says, wait and be of good courage. Don't wait and be sissified. Don't wait and be scared. Don't wait and be shaking in your boots. Wait and be of good courage. But he shall strengthen thine heart. Long suffering is a fruit of the spirit. You are getting strong sometimes when you wait for things. See, 
It's easy and weak to be impatient and lose your mind when things don't go your way. But it takes a strong man, a strong woman to stand in some things and be patient and wait for that foolishness to wear off and then get what you're standing there for. Amen? Come on, y'all. Uh, right there, he's telling you that the strength is not just always uh, an action. Sometimes the strength is in doing nothing. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back that didn't hear me. Sometimes the strength is in doing nothing. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Uh, man, let's go play. Ephesians. Ephesians that we read. Give me Ephesians. We're going to hit Ephesians. I need 11 through 12. I need Ephesians. Come on. This is this, 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 this a short good meal. Good, good, good stuff for your soul. Uh, give me Ephesians. Let me use a thigh for a hand. Ephesians. We're going over here to 6. And 11 through 12. Y'all with me now? Say amen. Y'all ain't with me now, church. Come get down. Okay, church. Now, nah, amen. Come on. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand up against the wise of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness, wickedness in high places. Ooh, ooh, Smokey, did you hear it? He said principalities. Come on, y'all. Look. Right here, he says, put on the whole armor. Some of y'all, I said it and I said it again, some of y'all... Walk out of here and you just got the helmet on and get shot in your heart. Oh my God, you got your mind on God. You ain't letting nothing. The battlefield of the mind is yours, but you got your heart on your sleeve and oh, they get you. Some of y'all walk out there, you got the breastplate on. You ain't letting nobody, hey, don't know love you here no more. And nobody will never do that done. And boy, go out there and forehead shot by, get killed. Man, I'm telling you, put on the whole armor of God. Some of y'all walking around here and you just as covered as can be from the waist down. Got on shin guards and, and, and cleats and extra thigh pads and hip pads and all your torso is wide open. They say the wiles of the dog. The wiles is many. The wild, he ain't just got one way to come at you against the wiles of the devil. Many, many, many wows. Uh, what he said right here, we wrestle against principalities. As big worm toes smoking, it's principalities smoking. What does principalities mean? Why are we battling principalities and not just battling the devil? The devil throwing wows at us. Why we just ain't battling back the devil? Let's see what principalities mean. Translation, Archie, or Arche, uh, properly abstract, a commensurate or concrete chief. Uh huh. In various applications, order, time, place, or rank, beginning, corner, at the at the first estate, magistrate, power, principal, principality, principal, rule. See, if you don't know this word. You don't realize that Jesus died for your little crazy butt. And had he not died, this world belonged to the devil. Because of what Adam did, not what Eve did, what Adam did. Because Eve could have been it and Adam could have rebuked her and say, and we've still been good. But because Adam bit it and blamed it on her, and that's an object lesson to your men. Now, that stop blaming stuff on your wife when it's your butt supposed to be leading. Amen. Come on now. But... Uh, Adam bit it, and so all men feel. The whole, all us feel. And he was ruled. Principality mean what it said. First, the state, power. He had the power. He had stolen the power. So all y'all don't believe in Jesus? Oh, what is wrong with you? What wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you need to know. He did this for your crazy butt. And without this, we wouldn't be able to beat these principalities because he died by our sins. Now we can beat these principalities. Now we got a whole armor to put on. See, principalities 
I, I had to ask myself, what a why? Why would we? Why would we just get in battle with the devil? He the one throwing the wilds at us. It said beginning corner, first estate, principal rule. See, he was here long for us, thousands of years. You could be intelligent, I, as they say, you could have more degrees than a thermometer. It don't matter. He been here way longer. Way longer. Principal rule. Concrete chief. A concrete chief. Concrete. This is the word of God telling you. He already knew what happened. Y'all the one who don't know the word and don't know what's going on. And you're still losing the principalities because you think you're battling that boss. You think it's that job. You think it's them bills. You think it's something physical, tangible on this earth. When it's the principalities we are battling. Something that was here long before us. Rulers of darkness in dark places. You got to go to the light. As the good and say, follow the light. It leads to something. It leads to something now. It leads to good. It leads to God. It leads to the way. It leads to this world. Get out of the darkness. Put on the whole armor. See, he wasn't going to tell me I couldn't put my armor on today. I threw my chest plate on. You're going to have to shoot me from this side. You're going to have to, but I'm telling you, I got my whole armor on. Whether you're going to try to tell me I can't or not. The devil try to break your arm so you won't put the whole armor on. Still put the whole armor on. Still put the whole armor on. Don't you let him let you. Like, you don't need your helmet today. It's going to be hot out there. You don't want to be sweating. You mess up your hair. You better put that helmet on. Every day. The whole armor. So you may be standing to the wiles of the devil, y'all. Hey, y'all. I like them short and sweet like that, straight to the point. It's, it's, that was a good one. I like that one, man. Hey, we're going to keep them going. Hey, come. Happy Sabbath to y'all out there. You see, I still can't talk right mouth for this woman. But we ain't worried about that. Amen. Hey, y'all. This is me. He Speaks with Kareem Walker. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night.